Autopsy results offer a different picture this morning about how tech CEO David Goldberg may have died. In a post, his wife, Facebook executive Sheryl Sandberg, described the last few days as an unexpected hell, the darkest and saddest moments of my life. Elaine Cajano of our digital network CBSN joins us with the tributes from Silicon Valley. Elaine, good morning. Good morning. Mexican officials say David Goldberg died in an apparent accident while exercising at the Palma Sola, a private resort next to the Four Seasons Punta Mita. This morning, CBS News is learning new details about the autopsy. Meanwhile, there has been an outpouring of condolences. His wife, Cheryl Sandberg, spoke yesterday at the memorial. At a private memorial service to honor her husband, David Goldberg, Facebook Chief Operating Officer Cheryl Sandberg told mourners, Today we will put the love of my life to rest, but only his body, his spirit, and soul are still with us. Let's get the thing for the board ready. Goldberg was the CEO of SurveyMonkey, an online survey service valued at $2 billion. Together, he and Sandberg made up one of Silicon Valley's highest profile couples. Hundreds of people gathered at Stanford University to pay their respects Tuesday, including Facebook boss Mark Zuckerberg, former Treasury Secretary Tim Geithner, actor Ben Affleck, and director George Lucas. Singer Bono began the memorial with a rendition of U2's hit song, One. Dave Goldberg represented the best of the heart and the soul of who we are as an industry. Salesforce.com CEO Mark Benioff is a family friend. There's no doubt about it. Dave was a huge part of everybody's uh, success. And, uh, you know, you just have to look at him as an example of an incredibly loving father, an incredibly loyal husband. And he, he was always there for everybody. Goldberg died while on a family vacation in Mexico. Local investigators say it was the result of head trauma after he apparently fell off a treadmill. But CBS News has learned that autopsy results suggest Goldberg had a heart arrhythmia that may have contributed to his death. This is a huge loss for Silicon Valley. Uh, it's by far the biggest loss since Steve Jobs. At his memorial, Sandberg said, Dave was my rock. When I got upset, he stayed calm. When I was worried, he said, we'll be okay. I sure could use him right about now. Sandberg also said that as heartbroken as she is, she's grateful for every minute they had. And if someone told her that this day would come just 11 years after they married, she still would have walked down that aisle. Charlie. Elaine, thanks.